Here's the round table podcast, guys. Listen, you know, where you come to eat, guys, there's right. nothing wrong with eating as long as it's something that's healthy, that's going to take care of you, that's going to nourish you. That's right. Overall, t- in terms of your mind and your ability to make mm-hmm. these things happen, guys, listen, listen, we, we we're so happy to have you, especially yes. going into the new years. 2020 guys listen mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. hey listen hey, we want you to take advantage of this time to make mm-hmm. sure that you are subscribing yeah, or sharing. liking this page yes. sharing this page guys because we got some we have some great information mm-hmm. great guests we got great some guests special guests gonna, oh, special gonna, guests here today pull into and guys listen look check it out okay it's <laughs> like this right you know, you know, we've been coming on now for about mm-hmm. I don't I don't. This know is how, our thirtieth first um, episode. How many so. podcast? Oh, wow. what, what podcast number is this? Thirty one. Well, this is gonna be the thirtieth, and then after our, for our love hour will be the thirty one. Thirty first. Guys, listen. Yeah. So obviously we've been coming on quite a bit, you know, mm-hmm. and we're doing this for you. In a minute, you about to see the cameras be blocked it out by our. Associated uh, co-host. That's right, <laughs> RW3. RW3. Hey, guys, we, we we about to get into this, and guys, again, I like to go around. What I'm going. Well, to do we want to first ask how everybody's week been. Let's kind of get loosen well, up a little we, bit. Well, before we do that, we yeah. want to announce who we who we're talking. Yeah. About. yeah right. and I'm going to. I, I know everybody, and I want you to, Lady B. I want you to introduce the host. But before we go in, you know, we got Lady B. You guys, this we have hey. RW3. I don't know why they always rhyme. Lady, Lady B, t- Lady RW3, B, and RW3. Lovely T. But you used to be a rapper, though, so it might be natural. Oh, wow. Lovely T, natural. and you should have been what? Then we got Lovely T. <laughs> guys, listen, we're here, and, and, and yours truly, Antonio, coming right. to you with the Roundtable Podcast. Oh, guys, we have a special yeah. guest. But before yes. we get into our special guest, before we talk about who it is that we have as a special guest because we have a great mm-hmm. special guest a professional yes. in her uh, her uh, part of business mm-hmm. and, and guys mm-hmm. listen she's going to talk to you why guys you need to if mm-hmm. you can fire your bo- your job fire your job if you can <laughs> let's talk about that, it that's not for everybody <laughs> but before we go in right. I want I want I they walk in suit suit the round table said uh, no. yeah, right. I, 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 I digress from that I digress yeah but digress be, be, before allegedly I, we can let our guest say that <laughs> she's gonna say it. But, 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 I'm gonna put a disclaimer and, on there too and, and I, I, I want, but listen I'm gonna get uh, deeper into that but before yeah. I end, guys listen how was your day how was your weekend mm. you know that we had this snow <sighs> yeah. Uh, snow, it's snow, Michigan. Right? It's expected. Oh yeah. What do you guys think about the snow? Oh, how was know, that but you weekend? know what though? Was it? I can ask y'all a question. Was it wrong for me? Like in Thank my you, a, apartment complex, mm-hmm. the way they come and sh- do the snow, they come around and it kind of blocks me in, right? Mm-hmm. So oh. this was. So I'm in a corner. Okay. I'm in a corner shed. Mm-hmm. So what I did was. It's a lady that's directly next to me. So when the snow was coming down yesterday, the snow was coming down. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. I got my own shovel. I went out and I did a path, right? And I started shoveling snow two ways in front of other people's vehicles and other people's. So what happened was, when the, and I put salt out there. So when the people came around, I noticed later on that night, when it pushed everybody in, it made those other two or three cars even more fortified oh, in. Wow. So on wow. my way to the podcast, I was looking out my window. And I was like, oh, man, she out there shoveling that big hill out the way. Mm-hmm. Should I have felt convicted in my spirit on that? Should I have? Mm-hmm. Should I get out and help her? I thought about going to help her shoveling. Should I help shovel? Well, uh, well helping, yeah. is huh? you helped. helping is always good. Yeah, okay. helping yeah. is helping always, always good. good. Because we can't be have, selfish all the time. That terminology. We don't but I didn't. Of, I didn't help. You ain't help her? <laughs> See? I was on my way to the round oh, table. Oh, wow. Pick up. Oh, my oh. knees need to get picked up from... 
Taco Bell. Well, that's your excuse, then. You, yeah, there you go. Oh, wow. Anyway, so, you can okay. that. so that was how oh, my oh, last couple oh, days. Just remind me how we got how he wouldn't help us in New York. Don't, uh -oh. don't let me go back there. We got stranded uh -oh. in New York. Oh, Lord but, so we see. We see. Uh. We it's coming out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah we got stranded in New York and uh -oh. We and got home. We got down. home though, but that's okay. Y'all didn't get stranded. Y'all was, was on the there. border or something. Y'all wasn't nowhere near me. We ain't going. It's like y'all was around the corner to the school. I think you was halfway Canada. Yeah, right. it don't matter. You could have turned around, <laughs> but whatever. Yeah, All right. So, well, we yeah. Home time. So we can't, we can't, Canada. we can't depend Canada on this drive. one right here. Canada but you know, when it, I, I've also had thoughts of just common courtesy when when it snows like that because if you think mm -hmm. about it, you are pushing your snow on the neighbor's lawn. Yeah. I was at some about point, that. especially with a you know snow blower, like yeah. the snow has to go somewhere, and it's usually on the other yeah, person. And then if you get too close to the house. Or you mm -hmm. have it angled the wrong yeah. way, it's shooting mm -hmm. on the other person's house. That's right. So and, and so you know, apartments or condos, yeah. houses. And I know he's set this up, is a I time that people have to spot. be neighborly. Yeah. I think that's right. Well, All they, right. They, 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 they used to make a statement that chivalry is dead. Oh, chivalry is dead. It, I mean, mm. it, it is. It's not dead. Though. It is. Yeah, it's it dead. Is. It's, it's dead. Some degree it is. It's dead. My that's niece, when I brought my niece dead. in, I opened the door for her. Yeah. I opened the door to come upstairs first. And mm. I opened the door. She came in. I mean, oh, that's good. That's good. Okay. Well, I mean, to some degree, it's not. Right. You know what I mean? Because mm. I, I try to make sure that I, I keep that chivalry, and, and, you know, maybe because I was taught it mm -hmm. at, 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 in my church, you know, my chivalry. <clears throat> and and we, it was something that made us accountable, making mm -hmm. sure that chivalry is not dead. But, you know, getting into that, guys, listen, we're going to go – ahead and go into this particular topic guys again if you don't know i would love for you to share this page i would love Please for you to share, like this page comment. guys listen it, we, gonna right. go, it, it, we, we, we we try to stick with the business you know yeah. because we think that we need to inform people about why you need and what what's the necessities of you owning your own business in, in terms of benefits of owning a business and why mm -hmm. I mean, it's just it's a great thing to do. It is. Mm -hmm. and, you know, we're gonna we're gonna talk about that today. Uh, mm -hmm. And guys, before we go into Lady B is going to mm -hmm. introduce our That's special right. guest for today. And, right. and Lady B, I'll send it over to you. All right. So we have Nancy O'Neill. So Nancy <laughs> O'Neill is a teacher. She's an author. And a business consultant, her business Detroit business um, consultant group is accredited by the Better Business Bureau as the executive director of Women Who Inspire. She helped women start their own business with, with 10 years of sales experience. She joined Elite Circle of Licensed Insurance Agent as a champion qualifier in 2014, was at the top of the company's growth model for multiple years. She earned her MA in communications from Wayne State University and a BA in journalism, international relations from the wow. U University of Wisconsin-Madison. Visit her website when you guys get a chance. That's nancyoneal.com. Guys, listen, and, and before we go into that, you know, I, I'm guessing that the title is, Lady B, what is the title? Well, we, we're going to talk a, about a couple of things. We're going to talk about her um, Detroit Business Hub um, business. Yes. And then she also has a new book, which is called, um, she authored, Fire Your Job, Be Your Own Boss. Mm. And, and see, I thought that that was a very she interesting in terms of the youth in that word, fire your job. Mm. Fire yeah. your job. It's, it's an acronym. It, it's an acronym. It is. Fire your job. <laughs> and, see, and see, listen, I know more. before we yes. dig in deep, before we dig in deep, guys, listen, you know, we we appreciate your comments. If you comment, you know, what yes, do you we think do. about this? Chime in so we can know what are your thoughts is. We love when you comment. We love when you yes. chime in. You know, guys, listen, but when I hear the word fire your boss, listen, okay. All right. your everybody, job. Fire everybody, fire, fire your, your job. job. Mm -hmm. Everybody know that we're not mm -hmm. talking about for you to go into your business and <laughs> go, you go, into, your job. You go to work tomorrow. Unless you and win the, a lot, and, and then you just dollars. say I quit, <laughs> <laughs> or you're fired. You're fired. You're fired. Or, 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 or but, you know, more normally, it's going to be I quit because the Roundtable Podcast had a guest on there, and they and they just Look assumed that I just need to quit. <laughs> yeah, because of what she said it was so foundating I think I can make it <laughs> I'm, I'm not asking you to do that right. you, know, this, <laughs> no. you know that cable Use bill is due sense. you know Absolutely. that your, your rent yeah. is due you know that that car note is due <laughs> mm -hmm. we're not asking you no, to, we're write not. A, to write away 
Yeah. Right. Run into your job and tell your boss, I quit. Quit. <laughs> <laughs> I quit. I, I just quit. I mean, right. you know, so we're going right. to put it into perspective. Yes. What, what needs to happen? There is all this. There's always a, uh, a scene of events mm-hmm. that needs to happen before that you can say that I quit. I fire mm-hmm. my job. Yeah, a lot of times before she come in, it, what is that? What is that job? What is the acronym? Just over broke. A lot of people used to say a oh, job okay. means just over broke. Just okay. Over broke. okay. And, and you know, I used to I used to post that on my Facebook. I used to say, <laughs> you know, I, I'm guilty of it. I used to uh-huh. say just over broke. Listen, you huh. you don't need to be just over broke. That's right. And, right. and I'm gonna say this before we go into it. You know, there is a situation. That something is called a career. Careers are different than jobs. Yes, so it I'm is. Not gonna, I'm not gonna yes. say because I found out. Lady, lovely T, lovely T. I, I, I know. I told y'all I work on the name. <laughs> Go ahead, well, I, RW3, lady, lady T. I found out that there's a difference between a career and a job. Absolutely. And there's people out there who mm-hmm. have. Listen, I, I'm gonna be honest with you. There is actually people who have careers. They may even make more than some job from some entrepreneurs. Mm-hmm. I know some personal. I know some that's personally. Yeah. Make great money. Oh, Some absolutely. even took yeah. the tune of thirty thousand. That's a true. Month. That's mm. true. I, I know these people personally. Mm-hmm. Where, where they're making great money, mm-hmm. you know. But before, we're going to get into that. Yes, in, in, in their career. Okay. And, and well, you know, in their career it's or not job, normal career, right. right? You know, we deal with these people. We talk to them on a daily basis. And these guys are making excellent money. Mm-hmm. But we want to find out what does this mean? <laughs> yes. Fire your job because listen. That's a strong statement. It is. It, is. it really is. I, so I, I digress. So I'm we need to pull away. Yes. Okay, <laughs> lean that over. Lady B, Lady B going to transfer. Let's go. No, we, we're going to kind of um, just kind of learn more about um, from Nancy exactly, you know, what she does on the day to day in terms of her uh, her business and what yes. is the Detroit Business Hub. Just kind of learn a little more about it. Okay. Okay, sure. So um, I do want to say, first of all, um, the book is obviously not for your first category of people who are in a career making $30,000 a month. Mm-hmm. I do say if you love your career, this book is not for you to mm-hmm. read. Mm-hmm. Put the okay. book down oh, okay. mm-hmm. or give it to somebody else. Mm-hmm. Um, give it to someone else. So it's not um, targeted to that audience. It's more mm-hmm. so targeted to people who are frustrated in their jobs or careers. Mm-hmm. They're barely making ends meet and That's they right. want a way out. Mm-hmm. So this is a way for them to to have a way out. Mm-hmm. Um, Detroit Business Hub Group is a conglomerate of different business professionals that I put together late last year into earlier this month. Um, and we help new business owners get their startup businesses started. So wow. any services they need that can be legal services, real estate, insurance. I help with the business plan mm-hmm. and also them setting up their <coughs> business entity structure through the state. Um, okay. I also help them get their EIN number. So mm-hmm. whatever services they need, um, like I say, human resources, um, we have mm-hmm. a marketing specialist. Those are the services that we offer. Through oh, the group. wow. So when you say mm-hmm. marketing, marketing specialist, what do they do in terms of that, like for a business? Well, um, Mia Maya, she specializes in social media. Okay. So you do have some established business, some established businesses out there who um, they've been, they kind of started with newspaper and they really mm-hmm. haven't made that transition to social media. So mm-hmm. she helps with the Facebook presence, okay. um, having that presence on Twitter and LinkedIn and them being consistent with that so oh, that they don't good. lose their following. Oh, wow. That's, so that's her primary specialty. Okay, so mm-hmm. now in terms of now, let's put this oh. in perspective. Okay, when you when we use the terminology "fire your job," mm-hmm. yes, put that in perspective. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I spend all of chapter one stating that you don't want to leave your job until you replace your income. Mm-hmm. Um, I do want to add to that that also mm-hmm. includes startup costs for getting your business started. So, say you replace your income by then, your business should already be up and running. Startup cost should have already been paid for. Mm-hmm. So you're going to be working the business and still working your job, your job. or career mm-hmm. at right. the same time That's for good. a little while. 
Um, I'm going through that right now. I'm a full-time teacher. Um, however, I'm still working my business on a mm-hmm. part-time basis, and I'm sleeping less. Oh, so I'm goodness. either waking up earlier or I'm going to yes. bed later. And I really commend mm. wow. um, people like yourself who are doing that. I have a girlfriend who has a... Um, a sh- uh, clothing store mm-hmm. and she has a full-time job and she has a child and I'm just like how do you guys balance that how do you yeah work I mean, for work family life is suffering I'm single right now with no children so I do have a lot of flexibility that a lot of women mm-hmm. don't have but it can still be done there and, are ways that that it can be done and uh, Mrs. O'Neill Ms. No, O'Neill. Ms. O'Neill you yes, just ma'am. said you were single <laughs> Miss O'Neill, that I, might be a Freudian slip. Uh, oh my God. <laughs> Freudian slip. Uh, I want to say, like, so when I was reading a little bit about you, yes, I, we we got to talk off air because I yes. you can talk on air. Yes, I, we do too. We when air. you talk about the the glass ceiling, and yes. I don't know if you use that term exactly. I did in okay. chapter uh, step two. Yes, I did. Okay, mm-hmm. glass ceiling, being around. Oh, can I say this? White women mm-hmm. or just. Just women that don't necessarily have your best interest in mind. Mind. Right. um, And they're creating... um, Havoc. Yeah. Ways of just trying to Mm -hmm. keep you down to make themselves look good. And I'm kind of paraphrasing. But Mm -hmm. when I was reading that tidbit, um, I I was just really feeling you on that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, let me preface this first by saying um, that, yes, I have had issues in the workforce with Caucasian women. I have had some Caucasian um, bosses that I got along with very well. Absolutely, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, However, I will say that our sisters can give us... Mm. As many true. problems. Oh, oh yes. Hold on, hold on. Miss O'Neill, hold on. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Hold on, hold on. I didn't hear you. Did uh, uh, you repeat uh, what you just said? I didn't I, hear that. That's true. Our sisters who look just like that's us right. every day. That's right. Oh, wow. That's shocking. No, I didn't know that. Oh, no, it's not. Yeah. I didn't even know that. Yeah. Or more yes. than our counterparts. But it's if true. I could just interject, though, I, mm-hmm. I, I think, right, it's, there's no color to it. However, right. in the workforce, like, um, we are in the workforce, most of the time, you're reporting to. A white woman. Yep. Particularly in my field. I'll speak for my field. Mm-hmm. No, it's not just yours. Um, you, right. Mm-hmm. So because right. we because um, oh gosh, what Fire was that? Uh, affirmative <laughs> action. White women mm-hmm. were the largest population to benefit from affirmative action. That's it wasn't. Right. It wasn't I agree black. with that. That's right. So mm-hmm. most of the time, mm-hmm. you're reporting to um, a Caucasian woman, That's right. and you know they they are in a position of power. Does it depend on the industry? Mm. I, I can only speak from mm. the industry my that you're experience. in. Experience, exactly. Right. That's what I said. I can only speak to my industry. Ah, that's yeah. A so that's times. why I'm Ooh. saying white, but it doesn't, well, but it doesn't mean that only Caucasian yeah. women. We some, right. anybody right. can have the mm-hmm. crabs in the barrel that's syndrome. Right. That's right. Yeah, that's right. yeah, you know. baby. More so us. Yes. Though. Yeah, I it, I do think it is um it is industry dependent. Um, there are some fields that are more heavily populated with minorities, and I would say if women, um, especially younger women who are selecting a career, if that's a major issue, I would um have them kind of steer them into those careers. Like you have some broadcast careers, um, some uh, newspaper careers or journalism careers where they can be in larger minority populations mm-hmm. if that's a major mm-hmm. concern. Mm-hmm. Um, however, um, you know, that is an issue that we run into. And I think that, you know, I use that phrase that um, when people talk about reverse racism and things like that, I say, hey, I can't afford Hello. to be a reverse racist because I need a job. Right. So I that's mean, not that's, a luxury that we have. It's not, yeah. And Dr. So Joy you, DeGruy does an excellent job of dismantling that whole reverse racism right. or whatever that you is. You have to learn, learn how to get along with all people yes, and women do. who are not like you and don't look like you. That's Just, right. It's a mode of survival so for us. Yes. And that's the only way that we're going to become upwardly mobile is mm-hmm. um, being inclusive of everyone. That that's doesn't right. matter. It, it doesn't matter, you know, race, like religion, me. sexual yes, so orientation. Yeah. Yes. Because at the end of the day, you're there to do a job. That's I'm, right. I'm that's been, right. And I'm not really there to make friends. That's right. And that's oh, another that's so issue good. that I've run into where they say, um, this is a typical code um, language. Well, you don't smile enough. Mm. And I'm like, um, yeah, they expect you to walk around with a they do. smile. That's so true. When I was face. in corporate America, that's exactly what <laughs> was expected of me. Like they thought I was like quiet. I didn't like anybody. I didn't talk yeah. to people because I didn't, you but, know. But see, see I mean, now this is the thing. Now, I, I will say this. You know, sometimes we do have to stretch out, you know, mm-hmm. what Caucasians. You know, a lot of them, in terms, of, and I've done business with them, 
you know, even from the secular world, whatever you want to call it, you know, a lot of time you do have to make sure that you mm-hmm. are smiling because mm-hmm. that's the, yeah. that, that's who you're trying to approach. Where, where that it? smile <laughs> makes a big <laughs> difference. And, you know, mm-hmm. Listen, listen, Look at regardless it. to how you feel, yeah. There is a code of business. Mm-hmm. And, and a lot of times, you know, sometimes when I'll, I'll come out of the store, the department store or something like that, and I'll see a Caucasian, they'll put a smile on it. Even, I don't know what they're feeling behind that smile. Mm-hmm. Right. But it, it's just something that they, is a protocol mm-hmm. that they do. And, and, and I'm not saying, listen, mm-hmm. if you're in the world of making money, Mm-hmm. Sometimes you have to sacrifice and, and, and making mm-hmm. sure that that smile and guys, yeah. listen, I'm going to say this African American women and men, you know, sometimes we don't feel mm-hmm. like smiling. <laughs> well, and, I, I think and, with and, some and, and, of them, not, not all of them. I'm going to say uh-huh. this. Let me say this. Do mm-hmm. it, I've been doing business for over 20 years. Mm-hmm. <laughs> If anybody knows, I Mm -hmm. definitely know. You have, there's nothing wrong with smile. Sometimes Mm -hmm. you have to look at smiling as the paycheck. And and, and, and putting on a smile. That's true. If it it has something to do with your job description, I have to smile. I have to put that smile on. Mm -hmm. Even if I don't feel like smiling. And listen. I'm not talking to anyone but that's here in this podcast. Yeah, Hold on. Yeah, we just jump in. Bro. Okay, but I, I got to say, this. I got to push this out. <laughs> to my, because, see, I don't want to make sure, I want to make sure to my audience that mm-hmm. we're making sure that we're we're pushing out yeah. educational prospects. Listen, mm-hmm. audience, maybe you're trying to find a way to say, you know, I'm, I'm not getting a certain uh, type of people. You know, in my square that I know that's going to help me make money. You know, it could come down to just your smile. Hmm. It, yeah. it can come out to your communication to those different individuals. And I understand that smiling makes a big difference. Whether you believe it or not, it does. Let's go. Let's go in. Yeah, um, I was going to say, so two things. I agree with your statement to a certain extent. Mm -hmm. The reason why I say it's cold language, because there is a stereotype that black women are all angry. Angry, We're hostile. Um, We have this attitude. And so when I had supervisors come to me and say, I don't smile enough. First of all, I'm a very introverted introverted person. So that I am too. I appreciate them making that comment because it's something that I had not noticed myself. Right. And mm-hmm. when I started smiling more, they're like, That's you right. have a really pretty smile. I was like, okay, right. thank you. I'm gonna smile some more. But the issue mm-hmm. is that when you're telling a 15 or 16 year old uh uh, African American female who works at McDonald's, she does not smile enough. Mm. When she has a male counterpart that she also works with that's not smiling, mm. that's when I have an issue okay. mm. because it's a target and a mm. stereotype, yeah. and oh. yeah. you should not ex- have an expectation yes. for a female to or African American female to smile more mm-hmm. than anybody else that works. Mm-hmm. It, they're all doing the same job. But, it, it, but is yeah, it an educational really moment? Mm. See, see, it okay, can so, be. So my thing is that even if we understand that, to me, I don't take age off. I don't take age off the platform. Okay, so now, okay, let's go there. You, know, you have Jewish people, or mm-hmm. Jewish people, mm-hmm. so-called Jewish people. You have Arabic people. Mm-hmm. You know, they, they train their kids at a young age what to do. At the end of the day, if you're in business, mm-hmm. it's, it may be sad to say, but it's always about the money. If you're mm-hmm. in business, mm-hmm. it's always about the money. So I have to make sure that, you know, whatever I'm lacking in, that I need to make that a strength. So if smiling is an issue mm-hmm. for me to make 10 more thousand dollars, mm-hmm. You gonna smile like it, <laughs> but, but I think, but, so but I, think that, I think that when you're in you a position smile. of you're boss, smile. that's a little different than when you are at a job. Repeat and that you're, again. Repeat that again. I think it's a difference when you're in a position of boss okay. of authority versus yeah. you're I'm in the job. Okay, okay. I, and I, that's what okay. I, that's what I'm trying to create some context, yeah. Yeah. Right. right? Because. I get what you're saying. That's right. But I'm I guess I was speaking more to like when you're at the job. That's right. And 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 reasons why you should fire your job. In right. my mind, right. you know, some of some of the roots of the frustration um mm-hmm. is trying to please or appease you have to. somebody mm-hmm. that um, Lovely to you have So well, you know, let me jump okay. in because I've been right. I've been eating my chocolate and almonds. Okay, okay, go ahead. So so this is the first piece. Um when you know it it just it 
it, it drives me crazy when, like like when you mentioned, just using Miss O'Neill for an example. Mm-hmm. She said, well, you know, I'm an introvert and things mm-hmm. of that nature, right? Mm-hmm. And my just, maybe just part of the military in me and this leadership in me, my thing is uh, more than likely you went online or you came in on paper, I put in an application to be here. Yes. So once you decided that and we had an understanding that you're going to come work here, mm-hmm. it's less about this is who I am. This is my personality mm-hmm. right. as opposed to who I need to be in this environment, mm-hmm. right? right? So that's number one. Mm-hmm. So if, if in fact, and I'll, I'll say this with every, a lot of different people, no, it's cool. If you are hell-bent on being, this is who I am, and this mm-hmm. is my personality, and mm-hmm. I'm really not that type of person, mm-hmm. start your own business right. and transfer that uh, attitude wow. into right. trying yeah, to get yeah. people to patronize what you do and mm-hmm. see how long you're in business. Right. Well, so I, at I some point, so at true. some point, no true. matter what type of business you do, there's mm-hmm. a political element mm-hmm. and gamesmanship right. you have to play That's even right. in the workplace That's right. and mm-hmm. even mm-hmm. in That's your right. own business. Because otherwise, right. people, like, That's for right. example, this is a quick right. story. I used to work at this, this school and I used to have to go through ham, try and make it. But I would pass two McDonald's right. and go to this one McDonald's because when I walked in, hey, Robert, how you doing? We know what you're going to order this morning. And it's my, nah, nah. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. Just because, and I'm sure everybody may not necessarily felt like it, or, but they took the time, let me learn right. all of these things about the customers that are regulars. Mm-hmm. Right. So now you're getting my business. Mm-hmm. So it's just those little things that, uh, mm-hmm. that, that, m- what Make we differentiate dance. between am I going to work with Miss O'Neill or this other consultant? But what still, about her? Yeah. What about Miss O'Neill mm-hmm. that's going to say, you know what? If all things are equal, right. what about you that wants me to do want to do business with you? But I still feel like a person, if they're set in a certain way, that's the way they they they've been the all their lives. Right. Mm-hmm. Then they get into a culture, another culture environment. It's like. You're making that person come out of a shell. Well, you're fail, you know, right? I mean, I, 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 yeah, I understand that, but I'm saying you still quit. takes time. It you takes time. Line. No, it takes time, and you have to. Right. You that have person to, has to be developed. That yes. person has mm-hmm. to be, you know, educated. Is that my responsibility? No, that's wait. not your responsibility. Right. But, but, but I'm it's saying it's a training so issue too. It is. I believe it's a yes. training issue because uh, I had a job at you know that was actually my first job at McDonald's. Hopefully, it's okay for me to say McDonald's mm-hmm. on the air. Oh, yeah. But uh, uh, there was an African American. Um, my supervisor told me I didn't. She was one of the um, employees. Told me I didn't smile enough. Mm-hmm. I just recently met a teenager. She was working at Target or a similar job, and she was told the same thing. So I'm like, mm-hmm. well, wait a minute. Right. Something's going on here where mm-hmm. it seems like this is a serious issue. And I'm like, if it's such an issue in our community that our yeah. women are supposedly so unhappy we need yeah. there needs to be some type of diversity it training does. Right. to say right. you're in customer service these are yeah. our expectations Correct. for our employees that's right. you yes. need to fall in line and comply right. however if there's no training there for right. that that's culturally right. sensitive issue right. mm-hmm. you can't have those yes. expectations when you don't have the training to go along with and it if, and, and if I can jump right. on and add to that so to think that you climb up the ladder with without help Right. Sometimes right. it's about who you know. It's about Absolutely. who's that's right. for you. That's who's right. taking you under their wing and saying you're And my who are you sleeping in the bed with to well, get to the top two? I ain't doing that. That's not like a... a, but, a and who, that's yeah. like a whole other show. No. Yeah, that's a whole other show that we've heard. That's a whole other show. Yeah, I don't that in my book at all. Yeah, that's another whole other show where we heard that some women go to bed so they can reach the top. They do. They do. And you shouldn't have to do that. And what I hear Miss O'Neill saying is that, too, it should be... So the expectation should be a, a, um, a, a agency or or business um, culture, not targeted to a specific gender, specific yeah. age, well, specific you know what I'm right. saying, specific that's population. But then you challenge it when, when, when you don't. Okay, one of the things that you know that in mm-hmm. business, if you took any business cat classes in college, you know that you have to target an audience depending Absolutely. on what it is that you're selling. Mm-hmm. That's number one rule. You, right. you get that. Everybody knows yep, that. Yep, target market. So in that, in saying that, you, you if you dealing with a black culture, if you're dealing with a woman, black, African, whatever mm-hmm. it is, 
you have to make sure you do the research in that area so that you can target that audience. Research makes the difference. So, and, and what I'm saying is, and what I want, Mrs. Uh, Miss O'Neill, Miss O'Neill, yes, Miss O'Neill, yes, sir. Freudian slip. I, I want you to jump into. They the trying area. to make Miss O'Neill be mad. Right. I'm good with that. Woo. I received that. What, 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 what okay. I'm trying to do is, I, I want you to be. Let's get this breakdown specifics now. Mm. Okay, so I'm a I'm a single woman. I'm, I'm starting my business. Mm -hmm. You know. What is it? What are the proper tools? That I, and, and, and before I go on to there, there's mm -hmm. someone out there in our, in our community because we're podcasting. You know, you have the talent to start your own business. You don't right. know the tools. You don't know how this needs to be done. And you want to know, you know, what is it that I need to do? I'm an African-American. Whether it doesn't matter. White, right. black, whatever. But I have a particular, a specific business that I want to start. You know, what are my two? How, take me down that line. So first, primarily, you had mentioned the Jewish and um, the uh, Chaldean, I think you said, or Arab community. Um, in the Jewish community, I can't speak about Chaldeans. They they convert the Jewish dollar nine, about mm -hmm. eight to nine times. Mm -hmm. I don't know about the Chaldean community, but I know it's more than our community. Our dollar converts about two times. Mm -hmm. Um with hair, hair salons, and church. Yeah, okay. That's it. That's all we have. Mm -hmm. Now, so, dig into the convert, uh, expand mm -hmm. for it. Like, when you say convert, what does that mean mm -hmm. in layman terms? Uh, in layman terms, that means that um, we take our paycheck, and the only places that we buy black or buy local is the hair salon and church. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so... What I'm saying is when you talk about culture, culture does matter because yes. we have not been groomed. So we're already yes. starting behind the eight ball. That's right. These Chaldean, um, in, in Chaldean and Jewish communities, I don't want to stereotype, but just to me speak on, on a broad basis, mm -hmm. they have already groomed their children from the time mm -hmm. that their children were very young yeah. to be business owners. Mm -hmm. If they went to school, that was fine. And most of the time in the Chaldean or Arab communities as well, they were groomed to be business owners. We, on the other hand, were groomed to go to school and get a job, a good, mm -hmm. hopefully a good paying job, mm -hmm. but a job nonetheless. So grooming and conditioning, and like you said, mentorship mm -hmm. is very important. So I would mm -hmm. say step one, because we have not had that uh, cultural background or grooming. Mm -hmm. um, smiling, as you said, uh, with some cultures, they already know that. Um, we are also lacking uh, in most of our communities social grooming. Mm -hmm. So the smiling yeah. is a big part of social grooming. I was I was lacking that. And I consider myself mm -hmm. growing up in a middle class home, and I still didn't know that I was supposed to walk around with the yep. smile plastered on my face. It mm -hmm. probably would have got me a lot more dates when I was younger <laughs> too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm yeah. laughing, but I'm, I'm really being serious yeah. at the yeah. same time. Um, That's true. So <laughs> grooming is important. I would say get a mentor or someone that you can yes. shadow or follow for a, a certain amount of time to decide, mm -hmm. one, is, is this something that you really want to do? Mm -hmm. And two, to catch up on all of the grooming and uh, the business sense, so to speak, that that we missed out on growing up. Mm -hmm. So that would be step one. And I, I agree with you. We we uh, culturally we are seems like always playing catch up. Absolutely. Um, and in the business world, That's because right. you know, for I, for a lot of people in my my generation cohort, I want to say that a lot of us were like first timers completing college mm -hmm. in our families. Right. First, you know, first, first generation graduates. First generation yeah. graduates. Well, yes. And, and so yeah. the conversations about, and I think I told this story before, like my son, I have a 11, 12 year old son and you know, he, he knows about saving. He mm -hmm. knows, you know, he knows some components dealing with, you know, budgeting, but he was like, but what is investment? How do you invest? You know, that that next level conversation right. about finances mm -hmm. that's not talked about in the home no it's not even entrepreneurship yeah. i would say yep. it's still a fairly new concept fairly new concept right <clears throat> within our culture because we've right, been right. told up until this point mm -hmm. go to school get education get mm -hmm. a job or go to the plant get that's a right. job right right go, you know we've been so conditioned we've been conditioned and so yes. breaking out of that mm -hmm. and um and then we got to lead by example i know if i if i have girlfriends or i know somebody that has um you know that's a minority owned business i patronage that that's business right, right. and you that's know, the educational 
that's yeah. educational aspect as well, and that's part of culture too. Yes. That you support your yeah. own. Every other culture gets that besides us. I mean, I, that's conditioning and intentional as well. That's true. But mm-hmm. I don't know why we're the last ones to but get al- that on I, the boat. But also, when and not, and I'm not suggesting that we don't. But when we do um, culturally get into a position of uh, power or influence or have those resources that we purposefully, you know, lift up other folk. I'm I'm like, you use Tyler Perry, for example, Mm -hmm. the fact Mm -hmm. that he employs more African-Americans in Hollywood, Mm -hmm. how he, uh, uh, Priscilla was and uh, mm-hmm. Cicely Tyson. He right. perp- on purpose. He holds on to the history right. of people. Absolutely, and, uh, Angela Bass. And, uh, and he is people goes on that and paved on. the way. Yeah, he makes Absolutely. sure. Then, in terms right. of behind the behind the camera, he mm-hmm. has a uh, uh, camera persons who are African American. He said there are other things you can do as, as opposed to being the behind the uh, you know on the front of the screen. So he's on purpose. Mm-hmm. That's right. Has mm-hmm. used his influence and wealth That's to right. create. Right. You know, right. and hopefully, yeah. and it's going to probably be beyond us. We're going to be in the grave, but mm-hmm. hopefully, the people he's touching, mm-hmm. they're going to pass it out generations and, and do right. the same thing right. um, yeah. as they move. Well, well, let me ask you this before you jump on. Mm-hmm. Is it, okay, so now, is that a situation? Okay, so we understand that, and, and that's so mm-hmm. realistic that, you know, we have a lot of African Americans, you know, it's sad that we don't want to patronize one another because we think mm-hmm. that this person is coming up above us mm-hmm. so and because you're coming up above us i don't want you to do that so mm-hmm. i need to mm-hmm. say things oh i don't want to support you as and the quality of the service and too right. yeah. The well, okay. so, okay. and, and, and yeah. see that was a factor to me mm-hmm. you, know, I, you know we talk about this african-american we talk about these services mm-hmm. you know but what matters is the quality of service. Mm-hmm. And, that, right. and that's a big issue. Yeah, that's because true. That, that's how I, and that's that who is. I am. Mm-hmm. It doesn't matter that mm-hmm. you're African American mm-hmm. versus I want to I want to patronize your patronize business. your service, right. but I want to yeah, make service. sure that you're giving me the quality that I deserve in, mm-hmm. in terms mm-hmm. of payment exchange. Well, not just quality, mm-hmm. but price too. Exactly. I, well, I gotta, yeah. I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna be honest. Now mm-hmm. in terms mm-hmm. of pricing, you know, mm-hmm. this well, let me Bushell Media doesn't mind the price if mm-hmm. its quality is there, and that's something that we definitely because mm-hmm. that's how I am. Mm-hmm. You know, right. I, I'm giving you a price, but you're gonna I'm gonna make sure you get the quality of service. Mm-hmm. If not, then I'm gonna keep trying to get it right. But so mm-hmm. the, right. The, it's not mm-hmm. really the price as it is the quantity, no, the no, quality, the quality, the quality. quality but the mm-hmm. quality of service. And a lot of times we can fall short as African Americans. I'm going mm-hmm. to be real about that. Well, the quality is not there, mm-hmm. and and a lot of times we we need to make sure that we're we're going over this over and over again to make sure that the quality mm-hmm. of service is there. Because mm-hmm. I don't but a lot pay. of times we I go patronize pay. business businesses outside of our um, culture, and their quality don't be there. Like yeah. order from order and pizza. To wherever it don't be right. Store. So you get on that phone and it's like this pizza didn't have enough sauce on it. So I need you to you know give me a new so, pizza. But they, but they so they'll it, correct. They'll yeah, correct they'll, they'll situation. fix it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they'll fix it. But right. yeah, yeah, so that's true. Because I had an issue people. where I'm not gonna say names where my hair wasn't done the way it was supposed to be done. They they braided my hair. It was so tight, and I had you know. Reached out to the girl. I said, it's so tight. I can't sleep. I thought she was going to say, well, I can come and loosen it up. I can help you. She was like, oh, okay. That was it. I never heard from her again. So it's about, you know what I'm saying? Absolutely. We have to take that next step. Right. Mm -hmm. And I got a question to ask you about a couple of things. Because you mentioned here, you know, find out what pitfalls to avoid when starting your business. It's Mm -hmm. two um, that jumped, jumped out at me. Mm-hmm. That I can I'm asking you to speak to in terms of how can these be pitfalls? One you mentioned establish credibility with your experience in education, mm-hmm. and the second one was present yourself as an expert, your business and industry. How can the lack of how can those contribute or present themselves as a pitfall? I mean, just kind of. Right. So without um, when you're starting out, obviously, you're building up your customer base. So credibility is everything. Mm -hmm. Um, That's one of the reasons why one of the first things I did with starting Detroit Business Hub Group was look for accreditation from Better Business Bureau. Okay, that's right. Um, Mm -hmm. And also testimonials from friends and family, Mm -hmm. because those are more more than likely be your your primary customers. 
have them share with you what they liked about your product and service, you know, because mm-hmm. those are going to be the first people that you'll be patronizing. And it's good for marketing. That yeah. you're it's okay. marketing. So you can promote your business that way and say, this person liked my product because of A, mm-hmm. B, and C. You can put that on your website mm-hmm. and um, that true. just helps you build your business up. Um, yeah. They do have like a Google review. There's know, there's reviews that you can put on Google. Uh, my book, yep, Fire Job. Yep, yep. Be your own bosses on Amazon. You can put reviews on Amazon. So mm-hmm. yeah, you can almost review everything. And reviews, if they're good, they do work as uh, the same mm-hmm. way as testimonials. Okay. And, and see, one of the things that I want to address, I, I always try to go back to our audience. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know who's watching this. And, and guys, watching, listen. But they just ain't commenting. But, and, 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 and that's mm-hmm. great. So what I'm saying is if you own your own business, you know, a lot of time that education have to pay, play a part Absolutely. of your business. And there's nothing mm-hmm. wrong with reaching out to uh, different services and in, 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 in perspective, Nancy O'Neill. Right. Mm-hmm. To reach out to her so that she can qualify you. Mm-hmm. In terms mm-hmm. of what it is you need to do to leave your job, okay, I get it. You know, you know, a lot of times it's fear. Mm-hmm. Fear yep. holds a, yes. uh, so a great factor into the reason why we don't leave. All of the, all of the qualifications can be there, and it's, right. it's, mm-hmm. it's just that fear yes. that you don't step out and you know you can't. Listen, I believe that a lot of times that. Our dollar don't stay into, if we want to use the word, the African-American community Mm -hmm. is because there's not enough businesses so that they can support that business before it goes out. I I just believe that. So, listen, you have what it takes. There's someone who's listening to the podcast. You have what it takes. You have what the qualifications. Mm -hmm. But there's fear involved. Mm -hmm. You have to step up. That's another that's another qualification. A lot of times we don't put that in. Fear is not the qualification. Sure you is. have to mm-hmm. be, and I'm going to use this word, and this word is not really a popular word, fearless. You have to be fearless in order to step out. God, listen, am I telling you to step out in your business and you know mm-hmm. dog or well? You know, you ain't ready. <laughs> I'm not telling you that. I'm not right. telling you, those people who aren't ready. I'm not mm-hmm. telling you. Know if you're ready. You know, that's and I right. want you to know that Nancy O'Neill is the yes. person that you will step out to. She mm-hmm. has books. Mm-hmm. Yeah. She ha- and listen, even if you're not ready, even if you try to prepare yourself, she have books out that you can go on Amazon. You can type mm-hmm. in these books. Uh, f- I don't know if it's is it fire your boss. Fire your job. Fire your job. Yeah, fire your right job. There. Be your yeah. own boss. That's how. Listen, mm-hmm. hear the word. Hearing the word, be your own boss. Mm-hmm. It's, it's, it's fabulous. That's really me. great. Um, and it's another thing you said that I, I think is powerful is mm-hmm. um, about because my niece, for example, she's she's about mm-hmm. to graduate high school and mm-hmm. she's heading to college. She said, you know, Cornell also like to cook. And and I was. Reading what you said, and it talked about develop business strategies to help you overcome customer objection and compete in today's competitive marketplace. And I was telling her, you know, you want to you wanna be a chef, but I want you to think also from a marketplace perspective, you know, if you're going into uh, an area of, uh, of uh, being a chef that's, that's highly populated, what is unique about what you're doing in right, this marketplace yes. that's going to say, I'm not going to go here and get the very same thing like, say, Burger King, McDonald's, and Wendy's. Right, right, right. You know, all of them sell hamburgers. Mm, What's right. unique for us to say, mm-hmm. well, I prefer to go to Wendy's <laughs> than go to McDonald's or to Burger mm-hmm. King. So when I read that's that, right. I kind of thought about when you said that statement, mm-hmm. you know, you know, objections and how do I respond and prepare myself? You know, mm-hmm. for the marketplace, you can speak to that. Sure. So, so the first thing I want to say is I, I'm not anti-education. I mean, I've got three degrees. Mm-hmm. And business owners, I like what Rich Dad Poor Dad says, mm-hmm. get an education, but I'll, don't leave entrepreneurship, uh, you know, off the table. Mm-hmm. It's ideally you want to have both. Mm-hmm. Most business owners have at least one degree. Mm-hmm. Um because, like you said, going back generationally, if we're first-time college graduates and we don't have that grooming mm-hmm. to start our own business, you need to have that degree as a fallback. Mm-hmm. So, 
um, I would encourage her niece to go ahead and go on to school, even if she does want to become a chef, mm-hmm. so that she mm-hmm. does have that that security. And, you know, for whatever reason, if things don't work out with the business, you can always go back to, to work and, and work a job or, you know, a career. Um, so you want to leave all of your options open. I mm-hmm. find that as African Americans, we have to diversify. Sometimes we have to rebrand ourselves. Mm-hmm. So yes. we have to be able That's to do so more true. than one thing. And I'm sorry, I didn't get it. I, I can't take notes. So I missed your second part of the question. I know. We well, yeah. well, I know you also <laughs> mentioned that you. Um, it said I may okay. not look. You when, when Antonio talk about the fear. Yes, you yes. talked about. I, I may not love my job, but Absolutely. I have secure security, right. a family to take care of, and and great mm-hmm. benefits. Absolutely. So that's why a lot of people are afraid to step out. Right. Yeah. And, and this is why it's it's not as much of a risk if you have already replaced your income. So at this point, when you're ready to walk away from your job. Your income is replaced. You're able to replace your uh, health insurance. Mm -hmm. Um, So you want as much um, fluid, uh, uh, much of a a fluid transition as possible in that you're not putting your family into a hole Mm -hmm. or ad hoc. None of that because you prepared yourself. Most definitely. So it it should be as as smooth of a transition as possible. You're just basically going from working your business Uh part time to to three quarters time to full time. You think some people are afraid because they know they're going to have to work even harder when you have your own business. Mm. Right. You, you know. are going to work harder. You you should be working harder now because you're working your business and right. a job. Mm-hmm. So you should already be working harder. Right. Yeah. Well, I think one of the biggest things is counting the cost before you build. Understanding what it is that you have to put into, mm-hmm. and seeing that if you can do it, you know. Right. Don't, right. I'm not asking you to jump out there. You know That's that right. you can't afford to. Right. You know, I'm I'm saying that as you count the cost. You look at this situation. You look mm-hmm. at what it is you're dealing with. It, it, a lot of times, we pretty much know. You know if you can step out. Mm-hmm. You know if you can step out. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, there's always a word called preparation. You're, you're preparing yourself mm-hmm. yes. to step out. E- even if that's getting mm-hmm. Nancy O'Neill book, getting her books. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's so, right. and, and listen, Start with the book first. And, and, yes. and research. Like exactly, you said, research. Exactly. Yep. That's what I was saying. <laughs> Starting with the book mm-hmm. to see where are you. To right. see, listen, am I that candidate to step out? But I do know that there's a lot of, and, and, and I, I think we got a comment. I, I, before we go into the comment, I'm going to say this. In terms of my African Americans, and I, I'm, I'm targeting them, you know, guys, listen, you have to know if you're ready. Mm-hmm. But and that's the oh, same wow, thing yeah. about being afraid to step out. Right. So we, we, Fear we, stops a lot of right. times of us stepping out. What, what and the other thing, too, is that you have people get into this false sense of security. There that's is right. no mm-hmm. security at your that's job. Not. There's nothing yeah. from stopping your boss giving that's you a not. two-week notice when you go into work tomorrow. That's so true. So mm-hmm. why yes. not come up with plan B now yeah. mm-hmm. before Absolutely. catastrophe hits. That's right. Yeah. Prepare That's yourself right. now. That's right. That's yes. right. So we got a comment from um, Doris Morton. She says the only time success comes before work is in the dictionary. Uh, <laughs> all right. Talk to us. Speak, speak oh, to wow. us, Ms. O'Neill. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. She said it already. Oh, wow. Thank you, Jen. Um, one right. thing, I, I quoted Ellis Liddell in the book is saying to Hope for the best, plan for the worst. That's so right. planning, it's all about planning. That's You're right. doing this because you want to support your family That's more right. and you want to be one step further. You're tired of being just over That's broke. Right. You're trying to advance and, right. and be upwardly mobile. That's right. So you're not doing this to go into the hole. That's I right. I mean, you can and, stay where you're at if you're going to do that. And that's, that's right. right. And, and, oh, yeah. listen, and so listen, it's so I'm, good. I'm going to say this. Is, I'm going to add to that. Mm-hmm. You know, Steve Harvey said that, you know, you have to be able to jump out of the plane. You, you mm-hmm. Make sure you have a parachute. But mm-hmm. you want to make sure that when you jump out, you have the parachute. You know, this business, Bushio Media, which is my business, me and my wife's business, mm-hmm. you know, we don't we don't do any other work. This is mm-hmm. what we do. You know, right. and a lot of times coming from personal experience is that I'm not gonna say every day is a good day. Because right. majority of the time it's not. <laughs> but it's making sure when you wake up that you know mm-hmm. exactly who you are, 
what you yes. called to do, That's and right. know that you want to flow in that purpose. Mm-hmm. And, and you know, I, I can say that because we've been doing it for so many years, mm-hmm. and, and, and it's, mm-hmm. it's almost it's almost a mind thing. Like you put your glasses on for mm-hmm. me, right? You know, mm-hmm. knowing what it is you want to do, who you want to are, who you want to aim at. But and I've I've learned even even in my business how to not allow things to become. Uh, to be anxious in, in certain situations where I just mm-hmm. lay back now. But that's because of experience. Mm-hmm. Right. So w- what I'm saying is, is that, guys, listen, you can do it. I want to make sure we express that. Yeah. You can do it. That's right. You just got to make sure that all of everything is set up. Your eyes are dotted. Yeah. Your T's yeah. are crossed. Yeah. Yeah. Cross. I got a couple questions Let's while they're on my mind. Okay. Okay, Miss O'Neill. So when I looked at your um, the um, commercial that you sent us. Yes. Very professional. Thank like, you. It's, it's a rough draft, but thank you. Very, very, <laughs> very well done. Um, and we talked a little bit earlier about, you know, you can't um, be so attached to this is me. You know, this is how I am. That's right. You know, you have to be f- flexible. So, so my right. question is, did you have to compromise or kind of, um, I don't know, cold switch a little bit mm-hmm. um, when you thought about the audience that you wanted to attract? Or what? Not really, because okay. when you're in sales, 90% of the people who are going to buy from you, they look like you. That's right. And, and that's why I focus so much on our community, because this these are my customers. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. When I met, I actually was referred to the videographer from um, someone else. And he, he does, he's very top quality. Um, I talk about in the book negotiating the sale. So his price range was way out of my budget. Mm-hmm. And he was like, well, you, you know, I believe in what you're doing. I want to support you. He's like, how much can you pay? So I told him how much I could pay. He said, okay. Mm-hmm. I was like, well, all right. I got this at a third of the price, you know, I wouldn't normally pay. So just because you're working within a, a certain budget, start where you're at, mm-hmm. but don't um, feel like it, things are just so much out of your reach. I do discuss in a book quite a bit negotiating the sales. So okay. Okay. that's how and, I ended up saying that. that. You know, okay, so now how can we, how can those who have this on their mind about entrepreneurship, mm-hmm. they want to do it in, a, in, a, in the right way. Mm-hmm. Right. You know, how can I reach out to you? Yeah. Oh, okay. So, yeah, all I'm on social media. So, um, well, I have my own website as well. So, nancyoneal.com. Um, I'm on Facebook under Detroit Business Hub Group. Uh, I have a Twitter uh, Twitter page, Fire Your Job, or Twitter link. Um, I'm on Instagram, Fire Your Job. So. O'Neal with the E. Yes, mm-hmm. O'Neal with the E. Mm-hmm. Okay, great. Yes, yeah, so I don't really cold switch. I mean, from an early age, people thought I was white. I mean, my name is Nancy O'Neal. So mm-hmm. that's before they met me in person. Right. And um, m- most of my family members have gone through the whole thing. So, I, I mean, people already think I'm white. So, okay. So it was. <laughs> I don't need to cold right. switch okay. before they see me. So, yeah. Um, I mean, would that I, be, I just would that be I, advice that you would give to a person if you. You know, like you said, when that person approached you, many, you know, I'm going to say, I'm not. When that person approached you Mm -hmm. for the first time and said, you need to smile more. Yeah, my first job at McDonald's. Right. Yeah. So if if you had someone who came in, I guess I I guess my question was image. Like, yeah, like how much do you do you um, have to um, address your image in order to um, increase your business? How, How much of that is. Well, I'll say this. The, the per- my supervisor who came to me at McDonald's who said I don't smile enough, she was African-American herself. Mm-hmm. So because she was African-American, I was not offended. Right, Had right. it been someone of a different race, I would have been extremely right, offended. Right. However, mm-hmm. she, didn't she, smile. Too. she didn't yeah. smile either. So I was like, how are you going to tell me to do something you're not yeah. doing? Yeah. So yeah, that, you know, when that you give advice, some, make sure, make sure you're, you're doing, doing it, it yourself. Yeah. That's right. So it, yeah. this, it depends on the relationship. It's not so much the color, but oh, because again, I, I it's it, it's yeah. a mentor. As a mentor, that's you're right. coming yeah. to me. I'm going to receive it differently right. than someone walking in their privilege yes. right. and want me yes. to step and fetch it. <laughs> so we, there's a difference. I mean, we're going to stretch a step and fetch. But I can ride on that because see, yeah. you you use your company, and I worked for KFC when I was young, and you know I, I was in management position, and I was told, you know, Antonio, you have a great you have the great opportunity to make it one day to 
one of the higher, you know, echelons, whatever you want to call it, in position. But I, mm -hmm. me being young in the mind at the time, because I was very young, I didn't hear, I didn't listen to what he said. I just mm -hmm. wanted to do me. <laughs> I wanted to be, I wanted to be a, 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 a pleasing, what, pleasing to my, uh, the people that I was around, I was mm -hmm. surrounding. Mm -hmm. So I was more or less doing free things, giving them free food. I was doing everything. Oh my goodness! Really more trying to be cool to, <laughs> to like, feel we got where, there and where, 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 and this guy, up. this was a Caucasian. Wow. He said, "Antonio, you have the opportunity to make it to the next level." I didn't listen to that. I just wanted mm -hmm. to be cool, mm -hmm. and, and I was listening. <laughs> we were drinking different drinks in the back. I was going to front, stealing money. Ooh. Put that on record, Ooh. but yeah, at the same time, I mean, you know, Which I KFC, they're gonna come get you. Right. Statue of limitation. It don't matter. They right. put years they later. Yeah. It down. No, no. It down. It's, it's shut I down. Kid. I was a kid, <laughs> but I understand that. That listen, you know, and, and and I like to make sure that we're talking to our crowd. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. guys, listen. May, maybe you have the talent, and someone is telling you, "Hey, listen, you know, that's later for that," because that's what was told for me. Later for that, listen, guy, you in that position, you can make things happen. I made things happen. Mm -hmm. Trust me, mm -hmm. I said. I, I made things happen. You got people I full. Like, I was bringing out. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yep. And you know what? Warmack, that, that, I was I was selling <laughs> bellies. Mm -hmm. Maybe they didn't need to get filled, but I was filling <laughs> bellies. And that's, and that's oh, not what it was. But I, I look past the potential that I have mm -hmm. so that I can feel the moment. Mm -hmm. and, and, and what mm -hmm. I'm saying is that, you know, maybe you have a talent. You know, a lot of times we, we and I'm going to go there, you know, mm -hmm. we, we talk about our people that's in the community to sell drugs and do mm -hmm. every, things that they do, but they have a mindset yes. to do business on a whole nother right. level. Yes. When you begin to understand, when you get this book, when you go to the, and get this book, we're going to, I'm going to have a Miss o, uh, Mrs. O, Miss Miss O'Neill. Miss. Third time. Miss. To get, to get her information out there because you need yes. it. Guys, listen. I, and, and that's what I'm, it's not about the Roundtable Podcast. It's about uh, what? Encouraging you, empowering you so that you can be the business owner that you are, mm -hmm. th that you're deserving to be. Mm -hmm. You know, and I want you to understand that. So, you know, guys, listen, look at yourself, take evaluation, understand that, listen, right. I can be this person that I know that I'm called to be. Entrepreneurship is not for everybody. Mm -hmm. I will say that. Mm -hmm. Everybody think that they're That's qualified so to be entrepreneurs and you're not. You're just mm -hmm. not. But there is a people that this network, this, this podcast, speak to yes. that that are called to be entrepreneurs. entrepreneurs. And, 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 let, go ahead. and let me, right. what I was okay, great about, what's great go about ahead. it is, um, our book. She talks about nine steps, right? Right. Wow. So yes. there are some people already may be at different places on the continuum, right. Right. but right. the great thing is it's specific. Mm -hmm. And it can give you, you know, from point A to point B. That's right. So that's the great thing. You can mm -hmm. look at the steps, steps. Right. and look, see, where am I in this continuum? Mm -hmm. Where do I need to go? Or maybe I think I'm at this mm -hmm. place. When I look at these steps, right. uh, maybe yeah. I need to kind of yeah. review and look at things differently. Mm -hmm. So I like the step piece. Yeah. Yeah, People like can kind of, you know. That's right. That's I, right. I, I, most definitely. I was going to say something similar. Say, you can you? actually buy the book on Amazon for six ninety eight. Get the book. Oh, and that's oh, a good deal. It's an e-book, e -book. so you you can download it right away. Tone. Oh, yeah, the uh, tone. They spend they spend seven dollars on what? Say it again. People spend seven dollars. You say six ninety eight. That's a good deal. That's a good deal. So y'all need a supporter. Everybody need a supporter. Drain. Is it time for? Do I? We have time for another question? Oh, we got we got four more minutes, guys. We got comments. Just with the hub. With the Okay. If you could just expound on um, what what what, what kind comes of with the package? Yeah, or yeah, that and what kind of consumers would you um, do you usually see seeking out your service? Okay, well, um, the uh, we're obviously looking for new business owners who are not established yet. Um, some of the I'm actually working with Ellis Liddell right now on um, rolling out a membership in incentive program, um, but uh, we're looking for new business owners. Um, 
I actually, because I ran a nonprofit for five years, I'm starting to meet some African-American women in the community who want to start their own nonprofit. Mm -hmm. So even Mm -hmm. though I don't promote that, I do that as well, just because I have a heart for nonprofits and and I know how to do it because I've walked myself through the process. Mm -hmm. Um, So we so we uh, offer both services. I just promote the business, but I can work with nonprofits as well. Um, I have two packages. One is a starter package that helps the new business owner. Mm -hmm. I actually write the business plan for them. I do all the industry analysis on what's going on in the industry. Um, I do um, study their competitors, their, who would be their three top competitors if they haven't, you know, started day one in their business Mm -hmm. and um, work on the financials, which is the biggest part of the, the business plan. Mm-hmm. And then I set up their business entity. So that's if they want to get set up as a, an LLC and mm-hmm. a C corp an S corp. Mm-hmm. Um, if they want to um, be a sole proprietorship, which I don't, you know, necessarily recommend. Um, and then we have the full package and that uh, includes all the other services I had mentioned earlier. So the insurance, um, real estate, uh, a ter- a legal services, um, HR services, marketing, that's all included. They receive, so they get the business plan, um, business uh, structure and entity, and mm-hmm. then consultations from th- those other eight awesome. nine professionals. That sounds great. And we do have a question from a, from a, um, oh, great. yeah, we have a great. question. Mm-hmm. Okay. Doris want to know, I am a independent consultant with paparazzi. Do you think that the book could benefit me? Yes, um, that's a good. I think so, yeah. Uh, yeah, I think so. Paparazzi. From the marketing so. aspect, um, no, I, I, so. I have done uh, direct marketing before. Mm-hmm. I was uh, I've been a Mary Kay consultant three times, mm-hmm. so I love Mary Kay. Still wear the products. Mm-hmm. Um, the marketing aspect would help you out quite a bit. And actually, in actuality, you still need to write your own business plan, or I can help that's you right. with your business plan because, um, as you had said before. Mm-hmm. Um, RWC RW3 RW3 um, You mm-hmm. need to be able to differentiate yourself From your other sales consultants Who are selling the same product That's right. So a business plan would be to your benefit You can do a little bit of a simplified yeah. one That's right. Or I can um, do one a, a little bit more of an exhaustive one for you And it, it's nothing wrong with it Now let me ask you this Miss uh, mm-hmm. O'Neill uh, is, can we use this number? Can we put this number out yes, there? Yes, yes, you can use okay, my cell phone. So, okay, so this is the thing, so that we can get through this. Um, you know, uh, you you can reach out to Nancy O'Neill uh, at two four eight three four six five zero six eight. I'm a, I'm gonna repeat it again: two four eight three four six five zero six eight. Guys, listen. If you believe that you are a boss. Everybody's not that's not qualifications for everybody. I'm gonna tell you that now. Right. If you believe that you're a boss, if you believe that you're set up, that you have the mindset to fire your job, uh uh just over broke. If you there's a difference now. Career and job is different. Me? Yes. Just over broke. Okay. But is, yep. Being mm-hmm. your own boss makes a difference. It does make a difference. Yes. Now listen, yeah. she's going to put you on a, a on a on a platform, yes. on a pathway, on a pathway to I help like you be successful in this area. All you have to do is purchase the book. It's just that simple. And guys, listen, That's we right. want to push out for all of our African Americans. Listen, there's so many of us out there educated, mm-hmm. know what time it is, know mm-hmm. how to make this happen. Guys, listen, mm-hmm. I want you to reach out to her. Yes. I want you to call her at two four eight. Three four six five zero six eight, so that you can get that book, so that you can get the mm-hmm. proper planning that you mm-hmm. would need. Listen, when she mentioned the name Ellis Liddell, mm-hmm. I know what time it is. Financial, pro, uh, mm-hmm. what is it? Financial, financial provider, ELE uh, management. Uh, yeah, is it still yeah, ELE? Yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah, ELE, ELE wealth management. Listen, correct. And, and listen, she's connected to the right people. I know she is because I know some of these individuals, and and I want you to reach out. I want you to contact. Her personally, before you even jump into anything else, before you want to step out there and say, ah, I think I got it. OK, reach out to her. You have it. That's first. That's the first part of it. But the second part of it is getting the education so that you can step out and be in a professional uh, format or matter, whatever you want to call. You know, we think we, we, we love talking to Miss uh, Nancy O'Neill. You know, she stepped out, you know, guys. Uh, and, and I want to send a shout out, you know, listen, if you have a business that you think that you want to, you think that business is, is worth uh, 
uh, produce, uh, well, advertising, uh, we want to reach reach out to us. Mm-hmm. You know, our producer is going to put on the website, on the podcast. We're going live. She's going to put that out, how you can actually reach out to us. You know, Nancy mm-hmm. O'Neill is here. There's so many of our people that's in this community that's waiting to help you out so that's that right. you can step out without mm-hmm. being stressed out on right. what you that's can right. do. Why not talk to a professional? That's, a yes. professional, someone yes. who's doing the work, someone who's putting the work in, know the connections or whatever mm-hmm. have you. Uh, guys, listen, just reach right. out to her. But All right. I, I really want you to go on Amazon. I want you to purchase yes. the book. I want you, you know, give us the name of the book one more time. It is fire your job, right? Mm-hmm. Be your own boss. Be your, Be own, your boss. own boss. Fire your <laughs> own boss. Right. Right. Be your own boss. All right, I want guys. You to reach out to her. Nancy O'Neill with an E. Yes. Nancy yes. O'Neill with an E. All reach right. out to her. Reach out guys, to her, guys. Listen, and I want you to share this page. Yes. Listen, oh, okay. Thank you for coming to the round. Yeah, thank, thank you so much thank for you. the invitation. You know, thank a you. lot of times we may not, you know, even though we get to view an audience, there's going to be people who's going to look back at the uh, podcast. Mm-hmm. And I want you guys, listen, I'm talking to you. Those who, who, came into the podcast late is a is is for a purpose i'm going to say that it's for a purpose this was meant for you i want you to go to the website i want you to order the book get the book mm-hmm. understand what it means to fire your own boss we're not telling fire you fire your job fire your job <laughs> we're not telling you boss. That's a, that's a why is it always boss and job but is the same uh, but you know, it, there is a fire your boss or it is. on Amazon it right is. now. Maybe that's what oh, it is. Okay. Maybe so yeah. fire your job. Fire your job. <laughs> we'll talk to you All later. Right. All right, guys. guys stay yes. tuned. We'll come into your relationship right. hour. Yeah. I want you to say this is a hot topic. You know, this yes. one. Yeah. Me, 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 me and Mr. Robert go at it. You yes, know? they do. Somehow, somewhere. <laughs> <enough>. Y'all <laughs> missed us last week. Yeah, we missed us. <laughs> the last ladies week. put us out. Yeah, they put That's us right. out. That's right. Yeah. We needed y'all, guys. We needed you guys. See you soon. All right, peace.